All right, it's 12. Yeah. Um, the new Star Dream Eurobeat remix, 60, 69 likes, got released. Um, there's Dave Rogers. Apparently, he made the original Deja Vu, basically a pioneer of the craft of Eurobeat. My supervisor lives next to me, so I'm going to try to be quiet and try to react to this video. Or music video. So if you guys don't know, my contacts with Star Dream is that um, I really like the song, Back in XX. I had even grinded for some scores for it back then, like the D15, and recently got on the S21, which I really wanted to get for a long time. It was kind of a random attempt when I was going for it on 6, honestly, but um, yeah, I really like the song, so, the original, so let's hear what Max, Cashew, and Dave did. Oh, it's not 69 likes anymore. I mean, I love Max and Cashew for the most part, so. I was a little worried when I heard the preview. It didn't seem great, but let's see. It's like dual racing and fucking Simon says you're a beat worth the two guys racing. Took the Korean lyrics and made them English. I think so. I don't want to pause. I'm gonna let it play. Ooh, clean. Oh, very nice background usage of the original. Call up back to the first okay. He's using old assets. Really nice effects. Or just like re just re really nice art. I literally just watched the um, old BGA, that's the exact um, scene. <laughs> I said I wouldn't pause, sorry. Old? I can be using old ones. How do I feel about that? I mean, okay. Ooh, that's nice. Um, vocals are really nice. Um, It's nice having a male vocals and also having English lyrics. I don't, now I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure if these lyrics are actually English translations of the original. It seems like, um, uh, no, I don't think they're the same. I think it's almost like the male POV trying to meet the female protagonist. We don't know actually her name, but um, I think it's almost kind of like a prequel-ish kind of where it's like you have the main male person racing with this person and coming whoa sorry sorry meeting the other female person right so that's why i reused old assets i think i wonder is this guy from the uh simon says bga because that would be a very funny reference i mean the whole star dream um, it's it's a, it's a references of references. This guy, wait, is this a reference? I think it is. It has to be a reference. This song is great too, by the way. It is. <laughs> I think it is. I, I'm just gonna make that assumption. I think it would be funny for the war. 
Yo, imagine if you were dancing here and then you just uh, you're racing and then you just you meet meet up with your bro and then like yeah, he just fucking leaves you, pretty girl. I mean, what a I mean, he's not a homie. I'm kidding. I wouldn't know. Anyways, um, yeah, the new art's very nice. Like the new parts of the BGAs are really nice. I like the callbacks to some of the instrumentals. Obviously, I think for me, I mean, the original grew on me a lot, so this doesn't hold to the original Star Game. Obviously, because it's more of a Eurobeat and more Eurobeat elements rather than focusing on the uh, vocal and the guitar parts. Well, mostly the vocals before. That doesn't say there's vocals here, it's just maybe I'm just used to the female voice being more uh, impactful for me. Um, I'm not disappointed though, it's pretty good I would say overall. I'm looking forward for the charts. The BGA is clean. Um, yeah, I really like the new aspects. Um, some parts where I feel like it kind of recycled were the, um, the old BGA parts. And I also noticed... Um, this is, this is um, from the original, right? And they could have done a little bit better of a job. Like, you can tell it stutters. And the reason is, is probably because they got the BGA, and I think it was probably in 30 FPS, I could be wrong, right? So 30 FPS, adding slow-mo, 50%, to kind of like fill in that little section, and that's 15 FPS. Everything else is a, like a smooth 60 FPS like animation, and then you have the choppy um, this. You're not gonna notice that when you're, when you're playing on top, but as someone who's watching the BGA, um, yeah, just a little nitpick. I can't tell if they if this is this if this is the old asset because like it almost seems like it kind of prolongs for a while. But again, if it's so choppy, then it's probably slowed down. That's my guess. The new, the, whoever, who's the artist, um, who was the artist? The illustrator, Mimi Chair, and I've never heard of them, I think they're possibly, they, may, they might have made other BGAs, but um, this is the first time I've noticed know, their name. They did a great job with this. He's like, what the fuck man, you left me. He's like, ah, oh, fuck it, I don't see you. That, that's an old um, BGA from XX. So again, calling back the old assets, which um, I guess it's fine, it's just a little... I mean, the original BGA was really good in the first place, so I guess that's fine, but again, just um... Let's say vacuum and cleaner, right? And it's like, because clean... I mean, they're different songs, right? But it's like, imagining if... You could be inspired by it, but just to kind of copy it completely, um... You kind of did all of the effort, and you kind of, kind of came halfway, and then you just um, decided to kind of, I don't know. I mean, it only uses like I don't know, like maybe fifteen seconds worth of XX BGA stuff. By the way, this is the cycling BGA character. If you've never noticed that, I just thought that was cool. This is all XX. I think the callback to old animation is probably fine because the idea is the guy is meeting with the girl and so they're meeting together that's why it's almost like the reference where it's like they part to like part ways together but again um maybe a filter or something like a maybe like um This is such a great guitar solo part where it's like it's building up the intensity. Maybe like a kind of like a VHS filter, kind of like making it kind of like monochrome here. Because I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe it would be a little like um, 
not appealing with the rest, but it's just like, since it always remains the same, like, that's what I really like about Star Dream, because it has transitions. Like, with the original character, they would have moments of two white parts where it's like, going into the uh, verse to the chorus, and then to the, um, the verse to the outro, right? And that would have been kind of like a good way for this part to be more uh, original by just having that little section again, like a filter or something. I'm, I'm sure they've experimented with it already and try, try to make the best video they can. It's just, again, I'm just, I'm yapping, you know? Because so. at this point, you you would expect a new maybe background, where at that point then I think uh, maybe a filter would have been a better emphasis. Again, I'm just yapping out, right? This artist is really good, by the way. This is very clean. I wonder how the story is, though, for real. Maybe didn't have phone numbers or something, but they're the pump it up cab, so... We'll never know. Maybe I'll explain the lore of Star Dream one day. <laughs> when I try to figure out what the fuck's going on. Because if anything, the first one seemed like it was almost like... The dude left her. I don't know. Well... This is a cool Simon Says reference, I feel. I mean, they're both European, so I mean, it's a little hard to tell. So they're friends in high school, probably. I don't know. Very interesting. Yeah, super cool. I can't wait to play the charts of these whatever man, and um, if it gets the seal of approval, my so-called seal of approval. Wow, I just got 20 likes by the time I was talking about it. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's very cool. What do you guys think about it? I think it's pretty cool. Or maybe if you didn't even like the original, then I don't know. <laughs>